Good evening. The stories are personal, they are endless, and they are multi-generational. Gord Downey spoke to fans through his music, and now in the days following his death, there is a pilgrimage of sorts to Downey's hometown. CTV Sean Lee Thong is there live in Kingston. Sean? Well, Ken Zarada, they've been coming from all over, and you can see where the vigil has grown to behind me right now in uh, the Market Square in Kingston. Flowers have been pouring in all day. People have been coming along to write in the Book of Condolence. They've taken 200 pages out of this book and moved it inside the City Hall. And just beyond right here, there's this banner where people have been lining up to write their personal messages for the entire day, and it'll continue through the weekend. The city's tribute to Gord Downey is as personal as the music he wrote. A guitar pick lying on a hockey stick. A note, all meant to say, hey man, thanks. And they came from all over, like Todd drive, Mittler, who drove from speak. Rochester, New York, well, with his kids uh, to leave a message. Been a fan of the hip for about 30 years, and uh, Gord touched us all, and just felt like this is something that I wanted to do. What's your favorite Tragically Hip song? Um, Wheat Kings. There are locals like Kathy Goodfellow, whose story is deeply personal. She was contacted by the Tragically Hip after they saw that she played their song Fiddler's Green at her son's funeral in the year 2000. Well, they told us that it was uh, that they don't play it very often, and when they do, uh, it's very special because uh, it was written for a family member that had passed. She carries a medallion with the band's name and will always hold that song dear. In fact, I was just driving by and it, it came on the radio, and, and so I thought, I need to stop. K-Rock 105.7 is Gord FM, celebrating the life and the music of Gord Downey and the Tragically Hip. Local radio five station K-Rock is playing nothing but Tragically Hip for five days and have changed their name to Gord FM for that time, providing the background for everyone to express their favorite stories about the band, including their own, of being at that final show in August of 2016. It was kind of surreal because you had to keep telling yourself, wait a minute, there's 7,000 of us in this building, but the whole country shut down for this. And just as the country stopped then with almost a sense of duty, today fans like Shyla Dale were dropping off flowers for friends who wouldn't be there. I'm in Kingston, Jason's in Alberta, uh, some are in Burlington, Mississauga, Toronto, all over. Friends who were formed and kept around his music. 20 some odd years later, it's still our common bond is Gord Downey and the Tragically Hip. So the flowers and messages will continue as there are more stories to tell. And we've been told that because people are coming by through all hours, they're actually going to wrap things up at about 8 o'clock tonight. We're going to keep things going throughout the weekend. They're going to light City Hall behind me in red and white for the Tragically Hip. As these messages and this outpouring continues, the city has to sort of react to what's happening from all over the country for the Tragically Hip. Reporting live from Kingston, I'm Sean Lee Thong. Ken, we'll send it back to you.